Welcome to learning how to download your ePortfolio. So the first thing you want to do is go to your browser and you want to log into your Google account. So the easiest way for me to do that is just to navigate to google.com. Because if I go to google.com, I get this lovely sign in um, button up here on the right hand side. So I'm going to click sign in and then I'm going to go ahead and log into my KSBE account. and click on log in. And here I am back at Google. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to the right hand side, I'm gonna click on this waffle, and then I'm gonna select sites. Once I get to sites, I'm gonna create my ePortfolio. So I'm gonna click on create, and then I'm gonna go over to this browse the gallery for more and click on there. Once I click there, I'm going to navigate. There are all these templates in our domain, but the template I want is the KSH Kulawina ePortfolio template. So I'm going to select it, and then I'm going to click on Select. So then you'll notice that I'm here. It says KSH Kulawina ePortfolio template. I'm going to name my site. So my naming convention is my last name, and then first name, and then DP for digital portfolio. The DP is important because it makes it easy to distinguish between multiple sites um, what that site is. So rather than it just being your the first name and last name, it um, the DP tells me or the student that it's my digital portfolio. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on create. Okay, so the next thing we want to do, our site is created, here it is, this is our template. The next thing we want to do is we want to make our site private because by default it's it's public to the world. But what we're going to do is we're going to teach our students um, how to post appropriately online before they make their site public in order to create a positive digital footprint. So in this upper right hand corner I'm going to go ahead and click on share. And then from here, you're going to see anyone at Kamehameha Schools can find and edit this site. We do not want that. So we want to change it, and we want to choose specific people, and then we would like to save those settings. When students create their ePortfolios, they're actually going to do this step, and then down here, they're going to invite their advisors to also be on their ePortfolio as well. And... Then you're going to go back to your portfolio, and now you can go ahead and edit. And that's all there is to it. It's pretty easy.